the actors are in a very pure process. They've, some of them have likened it to, you know, black box theater, no set, no lighting, no nothing, just the other people. And so their emotional axis in the scene is not distracted by anything. It's just that other actor, you know. They have, they have that with each other. That's all they need. That's all actors need is an emotional reality to play within, you know. And they, they love that too because we're not stopping to lay the dolly track or to get the sun to the right position or get all the extras into place or, you know, get all the hardware back to one and get ready to go again. We just, we just roll. We just, okay, all right, let's do it again. Let's go back to one. Let's do it again. And we just get into a session. Sometimes we'll record for 10, 12 minutes straight, maybe, maybe five, 10 takes, different ideas. Hey, why don't you do this? You know, I'll throw them a line on the fly. It's a very creative sandbox, and the actors really love it. Kate has quite a, she's got quite a presence in the film. She's not really like anybody else in the movie. Maybe, maybe Nature is the closest because they're both very strong kind of alpha characters. And of course they clash for that reason. And, and uh, that was fun. Watching them, watching them meet and clash was, is one of my favorite, favorite parts of the film. The key to it was to shoot really underwater and really at the surface of the water so people were swimming properly and they were, they were you know, uh, taking their own weight to get out of the water properly or diving in properly. And it, and it, it just looks like that. It just looks, it looks real because the motion was real. Um, and the emotion was real, <laughs> you know, because these kids are having to learn how to be underwater. They don't know how to be underwater. They, they were raised in the forest. And so, uh, you know, their fear factor probably, probably helped. Although everybody was very, very well trained. And uh, we, we used a very, a very safe and systematic way to allow them to, to dive. They were all scuba trained, but we didn't use scuba. We just did that so that they got used to being underwater for long periods of time. And we went to Hawaii and we got everybody on scuba, but we were also doing free diving training at the same time. It's not like we're starting from scratch. I mean, we, did, we were doing water simulations back on Titanic, but it's taking it not just to the next level, but up five levels. You know, we had to, we, if we started five or six years ago with our, with our study of water and our quantification of it and how we, how we create these simulations, we had to future-proof ourselves for five, six, seven years down the line you know, to be ahead of the curve now, right now, today, as we're, as we're finishing the film. I don't think the audience gives you brownie points for making what they think of as photography look like photography. It doesn't work that way. You don't get extra. You only get dinged if you don't do it. But you don't get any bonus. It doesn't make it a better movie in their minds. What makes it a better movie is the, is the people, the characters, the creatures, the things they're seeing, the things they're experiencing. But if they can let go of their disbelief, you know, like, did these guys go to this other planet and shoot it, you know, in, in that handheld documentary style, I feel like I'm really there. You know, it's all working at a subliminal level. It's taking away the disbelief. And if they believe in it and they invest in it, now it's up to the story and the characters to work on the audience's heart and mind.